It's um the awesome creationist here. Uh, I have several questions for you, and please answer these questions. Have you ever lied before? Have you ever blasphemed God's name before? Have you ever stolen anything, no matter what the value it was? Jesus said, Whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. Have you ever looked at another person of the opposite gender with lust? Have you ever broken the Sabbath before? If you answered yes to all of these questions, then you have admitted to lying, blaspheming, stealing, lusting, and breaking the Sabbath. You have to face God on Judgment Day. Are you going to heaven or hell? If you die in your sins, then you will end up in hell where there is weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. To go to heaven, you must repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ. If you repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ, then you will become saved and you will get everlasting life in heaven. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. God will forgive you of your sins. It would also be a great idea to read the Holy Bible daily. The Bible says today is the day of your salvation. Repentance is urgent because you do not know when you're going to die. I am not using fear tactics, it's just straight facts. You need to truly repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ to become saved. Please think about this. Well, hello every everyone. Today I will be exposing a false religion known as Catholicism. Okay, so, Catholicism is a false religion that has deceived millions or even billions of people through their fabricated doctrines. Catholicism teaches the Sunday Sabbath her heresy, which is a damnable heresy. Anyways, Jesus is the Sabbath since we are under the New Testament. That's the God's Hebrews 4 verses 9 through 11 ESV. So then, there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For whoever has re for whoever has entered God's rest has also rested from his works as God did from his. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest so that no one may fall by the same sort of disobedience. Hebrews 4 verses 9 through 11 ESV. Now let's look at Matthew 12 verse 8 ESV. For the Son of Man is the Lord of our Sabbath. Uh, I meant, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Matthew 12 verse 8 ESV. Since we are under the New Testament, Jesus is our Sabbath rest. Jesus can definitely be our Sabbath rest since Jesus Christ is the Lord of the Sabbath. Catholicism also teaches a hardcore workspace salvation, which is a damnable heresy because the Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith and not by works. Let's look at Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 9 ESV. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9 ESV. Likewise, works are not required for, the, for salvation. Therefore, a works-based salvation is a false doctrine. To get saved, all you have to do is to, re is to repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ, which does, does not require any work. Catholicism also teaches an artificial doctrine known as purgatory. Purgatory is a false doctrine that has false claims of people being in the middle between heaven and hell. People who die in their sins will end up in hell, and people who die in Christ will get everlasting life in heaven. Let's look at 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 and 10 ESV. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be de deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, 
nor ad- nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers, will inherit the kingdom of God. First Corinthians six verses nine and ten ESV. The Bible warns that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. If someone dies in their sins, then they will end up in hell. Now let's look at John 3 verse 16 ESV. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3 16 ESV. People who die in Christ will get everlasting life in heaven. So on this oh, teaching alone, for well, this teaching on who ends up in hell and who and who ends up in hell, or well, this teaching on who ends up in hell and who ends up in heaven alone proves that purgatory is completely false, and purgatory is a worthless fairy tale. Okay, so Catholicism also adds to scripture as well. Catholicism adds so many erroneous doctrines to scripture, like purgatory, the Sunday Sabbath heresy, and the works-based salvation. Obviously, Catholicism is a works-based cult. In conclusion, Catholicism is a false religion, since Catholicism is not Christian at all. Catholicism has so many made-up doctrines, since Catholicism teaches a lot of false doctrines. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.